हेलो ऑयल एंड गैस प्रोफेशनल्स वेलकम टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल जॉइन ऑयल एंड गैस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर सम ऑफ द वेल्व टाइप्स यूज्ड इन द ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्री एंड देयर फंक्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो वेल्व्स आर यूज्ड फॉर वेरियस पर्पस एंड दे हैव वेरियस फंक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑन ऑफ सर्विस थ्रोटलिंग वेल्व आर रेगुलेटिंग सर्विसेज prevention of backflow pressure control for the controlling purpose so let's see one by one all of them on off services what is on off service means they are used for on or off services means either they will be fully open or fully closed so the type of valve used for this service mostly is gate valve so here you can see the picture of the gate valve and it's showing the various parts of the gate valve so gate valve is on off valve used uh, on various surfaces like for water for oil gas or steam and it can be used on other fuel surfaces there is no problem with that valve this is the most commonly used valve in the oil and gas industry so here you can see the valve two types of valves are shown next is plug valve plug valve is also on off valve sometimes it is called cock valves so it is having a plug inside the valve here you can see the picture this is the plug and when we rotate the handle this plug the opening opens or closes plug valve application gas and liquid fuel water extreme temperature flow boiler fuel waters low pressure steam and corrosive liquid and gases another type of valve is ball valve so this is also used for on off services so the difference between plug valve and the ball valve is only the shape of this controlling element that is ball so it's uh, it is in the shape of ball that's why it's called ball valve the operation and all the functions are same like a plug valve so this is the cutaway view of the ball valve so here you can see this is the ball when we operate the valve from the handle this ball turns it on or off so ball valve is used mostly on, mostly on hydraulic systems water air oil in the petrochemical industry and it is used for high volume high pressure and high temperature flow now let's see the throttling or regulating surfaces valves for this service mostly we are using a globe valve a globe valve is shown here and you can see it have various parts valve seat body bonnet stem seal and a valve disc is here so this is another view of the globe valve this is uh, it's showing the flow pattern when the valve is open so opening lifting or uh, lowering this uh, stem it will increase or decrease the opening and how this is the flow is controlled or regulated so you can see here when the disc is opened there is flow and when it is lowered the valve is closed and there is no flow needle valves needle valves are used for fine control if we need a very accurate control then we will use a needle valve the next is butterfly valve butterfly valve is used for flow control low speed and both side flow means we can get the flow from either side so this is some other views of the butterfly valve this the disc how it is moving so here it is full open semi open and here it is fully closed so this is another view of the butterfly valve prevention of backflow it's very important in the oil and gas industry to prevent the 
backflow of the process fluids. So for this purpose we are using various types of check valves. So here you can see split disc check valve. Split disc check valve operation. So you can see the flow of the fluid from this side to this side. The pressure of the fluid will open the valve and then in case the, the flow tries to return, this valve will close and stop the reverse flow or back flow. Another type of uh, this check valve is lift check valve. So this is the flow inlet. When there is enough pressure, it will lift this check valve and the flow will go to outlet section. Whenever the flow tries to come back, this disc will close. Now this is another type swing check valve. This is mostly used for the liquids. Flow entry from this side, it will lift this swing, this plate and the flow will move forward. Whenever the flow tries to reverse back, this flapper it will close and it will stop the back flow. See here you can see how a swing check valve is functioning. It is giving flow only in one direction. Whenever the flow tries to reverse, it is closing. So this is the animation of the piston check valve. Piston is lifted and there is flow. Whenever the flow tries to reverse, the piston is closing. So here you can see various type of uh, check valves. This is ball check valve. So this is mostly used for heavy fluids and it is installed horizontal, vertical and angle. So there inside you can see one ball. When the liquid flow is forward, the ball is lifted up and there is flow. Whenever the flow tries to reverse, this ball settles down and it stops the reverse flow. So this is the cutaway view of check valve, ball type. Now let's see the pressure relief valves. Safety valves and relief valves. This valves are used as a safety devices to protect uh, the pipelines and equipments from over -pressur pressurization. So mostly they are used on compressible gases and in particular for steam and air services. Relief valves are commonly used for the liquid service. So this relief valve uh, releases excess pressure to protect the system, uses with gases and vapor and liquid open full at once at some set point outlet port larger than inlet port never just highest in the service so there are uh, many type of pressure relief valves safety valves used for compressible gases relief valves used for liquids and safety relief valve used either for liquid or compressible gases so this is a pressure relief valve to release any excessive pressure. So here you can see various parts and components of the safety valve. Another cutaway view of the safety valve used on steam and air systems. This is another view of various safety valves. So this is pneumatic pressure reducing assembly. Now see the control valves. Control valves would normally consist of the following components. They have one control valve and they need one actuator. They need one controller and a sensor. This is the glove valve and this is the valve actuator on the top you can see. That's all for today. Thank you and see you soon with another video. Be safe, enjoy and bye-bye.